I do have just a few slides today because this is going to be dense. You're going to have to really focus today. We're going on into a subject called network flows. Now, what's a network flow problem? So the setup is very similar to Dijkstra. We start with a graph with some edges. And my graphs are, are planar, but this has nothing to do with planar graphs. I, I, I only am working in the world of planar graphs just for visual clarity. But you always should think in terms of a, of a massive data set. So I have a directed graph with positive weights on some edges. So there are edges not present, and you, if you want, you can put them in there and just say they have weight zero. It's a, it's a directed graph. In, again, in this case, my graph is an oriented graph. I don't have any instances of edges over and edges back, but you can have them. There's no problem with adding edges over and edges back. And there's no problem with having undirected edges. And that is replaced mathematically by two edges, one over, one back, but with the same weight on them. All right, the weights represent capacity. And the idea is that we have two distinguished vertices. I've colored them in red. There's a source on the left and a sink on the right. And the idea is that there's something being produced at, and it emanates from S, like oil, like shoes. You make shoes, and you're shipping shoes via trucks. So something being produced at the source, and you ship out some amount of it from S to E, you ship out some amount from S to B. You ship out some amount from S to C. And the amount, for example, that goes into C, uh, then some amount of that goes across from C to G, etc. cetera. So the, whatever the stuff is, you think oil, oil makes a good model. The oil can only flow in the direction of an edge. The weights <coughs> represent cap capacities. So when we put, like on the bottom between S and C, the number 16, that means no more than 16 units of oil can flow on that pipe. It might be a, a rate. It might be a 16,000 barrels to a day of oil, but some unit capacity. Not all capacities are the same. You might have big pipes in some places and small pipes in other places. It's like the network. Not all internet connections are, have equal speeds and equal capacities. You have big servers, little servers, all kinds of things. All right, so this, the basic setup is a network like this, but I point out the detail that any edge incident with the source S points away from it. Any edge incident with the sink T points towards it. All other vertices in general have edges in and edges out. 